I have a question, man. <laughs> yo, yo, what's up? What, what, what's up, man? Hey, come on, man. Pass it back. Pass it back, bro. <laughs> yo, but hey, hey. If... If buildings are finished, shouldn't they be called a build? <laughs> what are those, Bled? The legendary park behind me, bruh. So I actually want to make the video outside because it's such a beautiful day right now but there's so much freaking noise going on by the park so I'm just gonna make this video while I walk to my son's house so I can go see him and spend time with him and pick him up and you know kiss him and do all the little things that fathers do so anyway the reason why I wanted to make this video was for three reasons. The first reason was when I was making those videos, you guys the old SOS family members know it, when I was making those videos, uh, what's it called? Damn, forgot what the video was called. It was a series I used to make when I was like venting or whatnot. Shit, you guys comment that down below. Was it, you don't have to watch this? Yes, I was making the videos, you don't have to watch this series. You guys can go watch it. I was basically venting when I was sad or wasn't happy with my life. And a lot of people were telling me to, to smoke weed. Like, yo, you need weed, man. It will calm you down, it will relax you, it will make you feel better. There's nothing wrong with it. And then the second reason was when I was working as a personal trainer at the gym, uh, a guy asked me, hey, would it be okay? Would it be okay to, to smoke weed while you're exercising? And for me, I, it depends on the person because at the end of the day, if I tell you to not smoke weed, you're just gonna end up going home and rolling up a blunt in the first place anyway. So it's like, what's the point? And on top of that, I don't really have facts against weed to say, oh, if you smoke weed while you exercise, you're not gonna get as many gains, or if you smoke weed, you're gonna die, because apparently there's no recorded links to deaths when it comes to weed, right? And then the third reason was, I was watching a video, a, a, a comedy video on YouTube the other day, or yesterday, can't remember, and I, I left a comment, I basically asked, uh, how does it feel to be high, and People were commenting, giving all their reasons of, or giving their, their experiences with being high. And some people were saying it depends on the person. Some people were saying, uh, uh, oh, you feel chill, you feel really chill. Uh, and all these other different, they have all different experiences, pr pretty much. So I was like, yo, I want to speak on this. I know that was a freaking long intro, but let me speak on it now. First off, I really believe weed is useless and you should not be smoking weed. I don't believe the body is meant to be inhaling smoke. There's a reason why you cough when you take your first puff. When you cough, okay, when you cough, that is your body's way of eliminating toxins. Y'all know how I crossed the street twice because when I crossed over, I was walking and I noticed there was a guy smoking, coincidentally. Man was smoking right in front of the school on the sidewalk. That's another thing. I hate smokers, man. I just really hate smokers, especially the ones who want to smoke in public and smoke at bus stops or walk past you while smoking. It's freaking annoying. It makes no sense to me. But anyway, back to my point. When people smoke, right, and you start coughing for whatever reason, when you're coughing, that is your body's way of eliminating toxins, whether you're sick, whether you're smoking, whether you're putting anything bad into your body that's what your body does you cough so if you're smoking weed and you start coughing your first puff yes that is your body that is a sign that your body trying to tell you it's like yo why are you putting this bullshit in my body or in your body so you start coughing and then of course people say well you get used to it yeah you get used to it because when you keep smoking your lungs basically get more destroyed to the point where it's not working as as functionally as it should be just think about it when you're smoking cigarettes, everybody knows cigarettes are bad. Everybody knows cigarettes are linked to cancer, linked to all these other bad things, like bad diseases and whatnot. And even after a while, when you smoke cigarettes after, I guess, 10 times, I don't know, I've never smoked, I never will, you stop coughing every time you smoke because your lungs are getting destroyed. They don't work. The survival mechanisms, if you will, or protective or defensive mechanisms, if you will, don't really work anymore, right? So you stop, so you stop coughing. So again, 
weed, I really don't believe there's any benefit. I don't believe you're supposed to be inhaling smoke. But let's get into the hard, cold facts, as Chris Jones says. So number one, apparently weed does not actually kill you. And for you to overdose on weed, you have to pretty much smoke a jungle of, of, of freaking marijuana. And nobody can afford that unless you're a freaking Scarface or some big ass drug dealer. But then again, who the hell is trying to smoke that much weed? It's just like people who want to overdose on eating 50 bananas a day. Yeah, it's freaking ridiculous. And of course, there's some people on YouTube freely who does stuff like that. But again, you're not going to overdose on potassium. Another point to add is that it makes you more calm and relaxed. It calms you down. And just with that, it gives people the reason to say, well, hey, I'm not going to die from it, and it relaxes me. Why the hell would I stop? Which is another reason why I said if I tell you to stop, you're just going to go and smoke weed anyway. So there's no point in me telling you to stop. Plus, if you're smoking weed and you work out, I'm sure you still make the gains you would make whether or not you smoked weed because apparently smoking anything, I guess, even if you smoke cigarettes, doesn't really affect your gains. I don't know. I actually don't know that. But again, if you're somebody who smokes weed and works out and you're seeing the gains, there's nothing I can tell you that's going to stop you from smoking weed or anybody else can tell you that's going to stop you from smoking weed because it's not interfering with your life in a negative way. You feel me? But let's not act like weed is actually healthy for you either. Just because it doesn't really have any negative side effects, it doesn't mean that it's totally healthy. And it also depends on the type of weed you're smoking. Because if you're smoking weed that's laced with shit, then you're probably gonna get messed up. And I've, I've heard of stories where people start hallucinating like crazy or flipping the hell out after smoking some weed because it's probably laced with heroin or some shit. But... Let's not act like it has any positive uh, benefits to you either, or health benefits, right? Some people like to say, well, it helps cure cancer. I don't think it actually helps cure cancer from what I know. I think it just helps uh, cancer patients uh, get that appetite since they go through chemo and they lose their appetite or something like that. It doesn't actually help get rid of the cancer cells. I never really heard, weed, heard of a story where weed cured cancer, okay? And also, for those of you guys who keep saying it helps cure cancer, bro, do you have cancer? If you don't have cancer, stop using that to justify your reason as to why you smoke weed. If you like to smoke weed, just say you like to smoke weed. There's no need to say, oh, I smoke weed because, you know, apparently it, it helps cure cancer and it gives me the appetite so I don't get cancer or some crap like that. Heck, you don't go around drinking cough syrup because it alleviates coughs. It's like, bro, you don't have you don't have a cough, so stop drinking cough syrup. You know, and there's people who drink lean, right? They drink lean. It's like candy mixed with, with cough syrup or some shit. Yeah, don't go around drinking lean or, or cough syrup because it helps alleviate coughs. That's not a justifiable reason. In fact, I hear it probably actually gets you sick if you take medicine if you're not sick. You ever have those times where you're walking and you see somebody that looks like one of your friends and you want to say, hey, yo, and then it turns out that's not your friend? Yeah. Feels like one of those moments right now. Then there's the people who like to justify and say, hey, weed comes from the earth, man. Like, it's healthy. It's all natural. You know, just light it up, man. It's not going to do anything to you. Bro, do you go around to the jungle and start smoking poison ivy? Like, yo, bro, yo, this, this poison ivy is the new shit, man. Like, it, it has you this close to death. Like, try it out. It'll really have you on edge, bro. Hey, bro, have you ever smoked some leaves or grass? It comes straight from the ground, man. You could even throw in some tree bark in there. It'll really get you feeling so good. Like, that's legit how you guys sound to me when you guys try to justify weed in that way. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, bro, if you just like to smoke weed and you don't care whether or not it has health benefits, just smoke the freaking weed, man. You don't need to justify it with these stupid reasons that's from nature. Not everything from nature is meant to be smoked. In fact, I don't think anything you have is really meant to be smoked. Okay? You're not really meant to smoke things. Now, can weed or, like, the weed, like, the, the, the plant have any medicinal benefits? Yes, in other ways. I feel like it can be used in other ways besides smoking to help help you. Get my point? I don't think just because, oh, it has medicinal benefits, you gotta smoke it. There's other ways of consuming it. It could probably be used in freaking pot brownies or some, some crap to help, you know, alleviate the appetite for cancer patients or something. Like, it doesn't have to be smoked. So again, that's just my opinion on it. Some people were asking me to make a video on it months ago before my child was born. But again, you know, I'm just trying to get everything back on track. If you guys actually liked me making the video in this way while I'm walking, 
uh, instead of just being in my room. You guys comment that down below. You guys comment your opinions down below. Uh, have you guys ever smoked weed? What is your experience with it? And do you care whether or not it has any medicinal benefits? I know some of you guys are going to comment down below all your justifiable reasons as to why it's good. But again, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what anybody says. You're either going to smoke it or not, right? So, yeah, I hope you guys like the video, and I'll talk to y'all next time. Go see my son. Done. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? I, I, I live in Paris, in London. Mm, oh my God. Stop, Stop fucking lying. lying. I'm